Hi, this is Joe McFadden, character animator. And Keith Lango, CG supervisor and animator on this project of the Autotainment Show. What we're seeing today is the Zacchaeus song. Which How do you make a milkshake? I don't know. Give it a good scare. What type of hair do oceans have? I don't know. It was time to split. How does the moon mow his lawn? I don't know. It overswept. Why was the broom so late for school? I don't know. Eclipse it, of course. Why did the atoms run away? I don't know. The wavy kind. Hi, everybody. Larry the Cucumber here with another fun activity for you and your family to try. It's called Bon Appetit, eating with style. In the show, I learned that whether I have a good day or a bad day, God loves me. Even when I make a mess, God still loves me. Like the time I put a bowl of oatmeal in the hamster cage. But that's a long story. Actually, it's a short story. Short and sticky and furry. Where was I? Oh yeah, family activity. To play, you'll need a pillowcase and lots of non-sharp kitchen utensils. You know, spatula, tongs, ladle, potato masher, ice cream scoop, turkey baster, egg beater. Gather them all up and put them in a pillowcase. Tell everyone to close their eyes and pull out a utensil. The one you touch first is the one you keep. Hey, I didn't know nose pinchers were kitchen utensils. Cool, a whisk. Dad got a good one. You weren't peeking, were you? Here's the best part. The utensil you take is the one you use to eat your meal. Good luck and bon appetit. That means dig in in French. It's hard with this. <laughs> there you go, Jesse. If those weren't mashed potatoes before, they are now. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, nice job. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be tricky. <laughs> Yay! Hope we got plenty of napkins. Or maybe some moist towelettes. Whoa, what a mess! Wow, that was great. What did you guys learn from that? Talk about it with your family. Why was it hard to use your ice cream scoop or other kitchen utensil to eat your meal instead of using a fork or spoon? What did other people look like when they were trying to eat their meals? What did it feel like to create a mess? What other kinds of messes have happened in your life? Even when we make messes, why do you think God and our parents still love us? I hope you had fun and learned something today. See you next time. Goodbye.